What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the man guide. Let's get straight into it. When I left my husband, I was only making like $16 an hour. $16 an hour? So that ain't that enough. Wasn't enough. And yeah, so I got myself into a lot of credit card debt because Stupid. I Smart. moved into an apartment that I couldn't really afford, but I thought that someone else was going to be living with me in it. Stupid. So, Okay. That's what what do you mean? The ex? No. Okay, so right after I the got divorced, guy. I got into a situation mm, with shocker. somebody I knew from work. Ooh. And it always be these work husbands, man. Shots fired! Shots fired! We call these guys in the industry the on deck dudes. They are just waiting to hop up out of the batting cage and get their at bat at your girl, bro. <laughs> Gotta watch out. Um, How quickly after the work the hubbies? Divorce? Well, like immediately. It was like a rebound, right? I guess is what they were. A rebound? Calling. You were in a relationship. She's a runner. She's a track star. You were in a relationship. It wasn't a rebound. A rebound says that the relationship was over and now you're rebounding. You were straight up cheating, honey. <laughs> you were really hoping that this new guy was going to be your hero. I can be your hero, baby. But he clearly wasn't falling for the simp card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even Caleb's like, like huh? the day after? Maybe, maybe, I get, sort of, yes. Okay. I just lost in the sauce. Uh -huh. So I knew him. That D right? sauce. We worked together. That's how we met. Well, wait, how long are you married? Almost five years. Oh. Did you guys ever have any kids? Yes. Oh. And you got with this person a day after? Yes, but see what, I thought he was like the love of my life. A day after a divorce, okay. Stupid. Yes. Sure, and you thought he you can't make this stuff up. Be living with you? Yes. Like, gentlemen, we find ourselves. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck. She just acted like a child, bruv. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, do you hear her? Well, yes, and I thought he was gonna be the man, and I really thought he was the one that was gonna be this. He was the love of my life, and me, me, me. She was just drunk on that D. <laughs> Lost in that sauce. He must have been smushing good. He must have been giving her that, that good old one-two Willie Stroker. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, yeah, reality hits hard, buddy boy. Let's see some of the comments. Oh, these are going to be brutal. Full context, the guy she left her husband for was married the entire time, but never told her. After she moved into the apartment, the guy insisted they stop seeing each other as, as he couldn't leave his wife and kids for her. So she destroyed her family based on a fantasy. She created this space where it preached me. Oh my god. The stories write themselves. 99% of the time a chick leaves the already had something else going. Uh, leaves she... Uh, dude, facts. It's a monkey branch. She had something else going, bruv. Uh, where are the men hiding at the lake fishing? Yeah, this seems like just comments on their stuff. Okay, let's get back into this. It's so over. I want to hate this. I want to show money. Don't take shit. I got no love. What is a good amount of money? To spend on a first date, a lot of girls feel like I gotta spend a minimum three hundred dollars. Bunch of cinco based. Three hundred what? Three hundred dollars. American dollars? Dollars, please. Pesos. <laughs> on who? On the first date? Yo, Chad. For what? You're considered a high value man. So, I ladies, this is for value? this. You got money? I think high value is based on stream of income, revenue. But I am extremely cheap and financially conscious, so I don't consider myself a high value man. And you have a lot of money. Yes. Yes, and I'm gonna save it, which is why a $300 date ain't never happening. Because what am I paying for, actually? Uh -huh. If I'm at wit's end and I need help, and I'm with you, and you need a $300 date, can she save me? Can she help me? Is she an asset or is she a liability? Because anybody need a $300 date off rip is nothing but a liability. Wow. I mean, mm -hmm. it is. Let's call a spade a spade. I'm with you. The women that want $300 dates, there are men out there that are going to continue Let's to take that. them on That's it. Fun. That's why the women can always say, I'm not doing nothing but $300 a date. Because there are men that will spend $300 to reach their end goal. We know the end goal is... Smush. I'm going to make a video devoted to the comments. Bro, Ocho Cinco is so based. I think he talks about later on. He's like, I'll take a girl to McDonald's. <laughs> You're getting happy meals, baby. Happy meals on wheels. You are not about to get a $300 day. You must be out of your freaking mind thinking you're going to get a free uh, $300 day. Uh, what did that say? Men in love. Women are in business for real. Sheet. Snow bunnies are cool with just grabbing a slice of pizza, bro. This, this is crazy. This is wild work. $300 must include the hotel bill as well. Bro, this is crazy work right here. This is crazy work. <laughs> the hotel bill. Good lord. But I've noticed many of them pay child support. But I've noticed many of them are starting to disappear. 
probably had to finally go out and get a real job. Mm -hmm. Moving on. I don't pay child support. Okay, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Like, why would I pay child support? If you support your kids, you don't bum. need. See, yeah. see, that's the thing for me. Child support is when most of the time the mother weaponizes the children against the father and says, you got to pay child support to basically fund her lifestyle. But if a guy is in his kids' lives, more than likely, he can just pay for what he needs to pay for. It doesn't need to pay child support. Let me know what you think, chat. You're saying, what do I pay? You're thinking child support, I'm not giving anything. I'm saying, I take care of my babies. Okay, what does that look like? The school, kids? clothes, trips, etc. They live in the house with their mom 24-7, yes. right? Yes. They live in their home. So do right. you pay any of those bills in their house? Yes, I did. They grow now. So the 16 year old not right now. So you yes. still have one that's under yes, age. Yes, and well what, taken care of. What does that look like it's right amazing. now, today? It's amazing. What does it look like? What do you mean what it looks like? For the 16 year old right now, what does that look like? How do you She think? just wants to know an exact number. Keep asking the same question, expecting a different result. Um, boy, right? Visit, we hang, go to games, etc. School? Yeah, Paid for goes, him? yeah I, don't, I don't take you him to car? school. No, he's 16 and he's done. So who drives him to school? His mom. So you pay for the gas? No. Do you pay for her car insurance? No. Do you pay for her car bill? No. Do you pay for her light bill? No. Do you give her money for food? Of course. How much? It's whatever she needs. That woman interrogating. That's what him I'm saying. She's just really trying to interrogate this man and say, well, how much are you paying? How much is like, like being a good dad is just another bill you have to take care of. Like, good Lord. The father isn't obligated to pay any of your bills. If he does, that's a luxury and a favor, not an obligation. I'll be, I'll keep it a buck. My dad, he paid for nothing. Not squat. Not nada. Never saw a child support check from that man. He's only obligated to take care of these kids and be involved in their life, meaning getting them, showing up, buying the thing they need, being an active father. See, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, what was the, what was the, oh God, I want to see this one. Why let ratchets ask you questions in the first place? The second I get that energy, I exit the conversation. It's like, why are you worried about it so much, honey? aren't even your kids this ain't even your business typical woman trying to put a price tag on child instead of letting a dad be a dad facts dude so facts that's what mm, that's what irks me man is that these ladies would rather put a price tag on being a father than talking about what he's actually doing emotionally and just wants to talk about what he's doing monetarily 594 dollars on miscellaneous bullshit that doesn't matter in a singular month i don't think you need a payment plan just literally spend a third on that and you can pay this off i don't get it your priorities are stupid like i say man women want the equality of men they want the <laughs> they want the accountability of children and they want the privilege of being a woman yeah my mom will help me pay off my debt and stuff you don't need uh, look at um, your spending stupid. Dude, you just have to control it for f sake so bad I have a headache. I don't. So I need clap, you to clap. Like, separate from your mom somehow. I need her to like. Ah, I just need like the. She, you need to not be able to have access to her somehow. This is like. Then I have no problem with someone helping someone out, and I have no problem with asking for help either. But what she is doing and taking care of you and babying you and doing all this, you're never gonna grow the fuck up or learn how to budget or learn how to manage your finances. You're never gonna be able to be independent ever. And. You take advantage of it so crazy. Dude, your mouth has never de-latched from those Dude, you are still right up on them. The he is eating her up. I love that Caleb's no holds barred, though. He is absolutely no holds barred. Loki, somebody want a carrot? Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Oh, Caleb's so good, man. I wish I still lived in Austin. I'd hit him up, do an interview. Seems like a really cool guy. I'm sure he would maybe hop on one. Um, but these women will literally come up here and be willy-nilly about their life's finances. Why do people come on this show? What is it? What was it? Why do people come on this show and they don't even want help? For real, though, my dildo is crazy to me. Money management is a lot more important than making money. Do so, uh, Caleb, we need you to do this on our federal government and the Federal Reserve. How do we get Jen <laughs> yelling on your show? <laughs> That's absolutely, that's actually funny. Um, but I don't know about you guys, but like, I don't have, I don't have the luxury of like my mom coming to save me, nor do I want it. I told my mom years ago, I was like, Hey, I'd rather be homeless 
than you send me money or me live with you. I'd rather be homeless. It's that you got to have that ultimatum in your in your head, man. I, I, like like Caleb said, I think it's okay to ask for help or once in a while, but that's not asking for help. That's being enabled. You guys have seen my 600 pound life. Big back, big back, big back, big back. You've seen it. You know what enabling is. Big back. Sorry. <laughs> I need his help. Okay. All right. And how much is tuition? Um, tuition is. Oh. Have you guys ever played Minecraft? Shots fired! Shots fired! What about Roblox? Shots fired! Shots fired! Five thousand a year per child. Okay. Per year? Yes. Okay. This better be a pretty great school. Yeah, it's connected to Yale and Harvard. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm hmm. So, how was the breach? <laughs> because you definitely didn't show up for court the last time. No, I did not, Your Honor. Okay, so I'm guessing everything went well. I'm a civil engineer, Your Honor, and I was in Italy for a conference, not the building of the Bridge of Gibraltar. Oh, okay. You must have lied to Well, me. she didn't, she must didn't know. Apparently didn't know that there's a large step up from being housewife to employed. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, get this man an apron, a freaking spatula, because he is freaking cooking. Hmm, I caught that. Continue. So, I'm currently paying the insurance for our children. Okay, and how much is that? 500 This is why I also say, do not stick your dick in a, in a freaking crazy chick, dude. $100, okay. And that's for both children? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Continue. Now, I don't understand exactly why my loving wife would think that in combination that we are paying for our children, considering mm -hmm. I'm the Ah, yes. Time to come up for air and taste justice. Pay up, pay up, pay up. The clip cuts off, but the full story is that she got nothing and had to keep paying for all of her random objectives. This woman clearly hasn't worked a day in her life. Most went from being a stay-at-home wife to being un to being an employee. Ooh boy, 5k per child. Nice show cuz Elon Musk is personally teaching these kids. Oh my god. 5k a year is a, is a lot. Can so are they still married? Doubt it. 5k is a lot for education. To me that's that's, that's kind of a bit of a, a stretch. Public school was free for me. me. My bills are your bills. Care whose car it is. You're trying to date me. You're trying to take a load off of me. So my car is your car for the bills. I don't simple. You're trying to date me, so my bills are your bills. Baby, Great. you're looking for a hero. I can be your hero, baby. This is why we have to end the simp epidemic. If we stop paying for these women's things, they'll stop. They'll stop expecting it. One for one, tit for tat. This is the reason no nobody's trying to date. What is it? What is one it? of those points. A lot of demands coming from somewhere. a 1.5. First rule. <laughs> First rule of bargaining is having something to offer. That's why you're making videos by your name, Sal. <laughs> Godfrey. I know him. He's a, he's, a, he's a comic, right? Oh, my God. It's so good. The stories write themselves, gents. It really doesn't get much better than this. This IRL comedy of these modern women exposing their own hypocrisies. Mary. Oh, okay. okay. So we're going to stick to why we're here. We're this is not here. We're not here for you to tell your love story about him. Okay. This is for us to talk about you paying child support. Now your daughter. Who does she live I with? I love child. Yes. Okay. Your love child. Who does your love child live with? Uh, Chris. Okay. And she's been living with Chris, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And what? since she's been living with you, Mr. Hawkins. Have you been receiving any type of child support? Uh, yes, we have. It's around $227 now. Okay. And I've been just putting that in a trust for our daughter, so she'll be able to get that once she's older. Okay. So I'm just Seems right like a nice guy. Now just getting this, wanting this money, um, so it goes to her. So when she ends up leaving, go and do what she has to do. Wow, applaud for this dad. Putting the child support in a trust. That should be a law. Chat, let me know. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think we should make it a law where child support just goes into a trust and then the child can actually access it when they're 18? That would be beautiful. I bet women would stay with their husbands. I bet they wouldn't leave and look at their ex-men like a freaking paycheck. I bet they wouldn't think, oh, I can be a baby mama and think about a come up. I bet they would be like, you know what? I'll actually stay down for my man. I think that's a great idea. Put the child support in a trust and they can only access it when they're 18. Beautiful. Poetry. It's money. So it's, I'm not trying to break her or anything like that. Okay. Just, I mean, 227 a month, honey. If you can't afford that, <laughs> you're broke. To help support my daughter. Well, I, I hope you wouldn't because she seems pretty infatuated with you. Um, Ma'am, so what I'm going to do is calculate your child support, okay? So your child support I have at the $52,000 a year. That's what you currently make as a teacher. Yes. Okay. Your gross is $4,400. And then that brings your net down to $3,653.78, okay? Are you taking notes and following me? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. The delusion never stops. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Dude, I mean, shout out to her for being a teacher. I used to be a teacher. It doesn't pay much, man. It's just, ugh, you have to deal with a lot. Her voice, though, for real. An educator, no words. Uh, it's, what's sad is that's really where the, we're at right now. Like, I know, well, we know of people in this household. Loki, go to your place. Go. They want to see you. We know of people that are teachers in our family, and uh, these women are crazy stupid very very crazy and alone ripley's believe it or not green earth were you doing that your daughter is here by herself at seven years old she's terrified and goes into the bar and asks <laughs> bar is called the perfect spot <laughs> the perfect spot to leave your child in the car shots fired shots fired the perfect spot to get arrested shots fired shots fired the perfect spot to find your future baby daddy shots fired shots fired <laughs> I don't think I've heard of a better bar name than the perfect spot. Random bar people to help and call the police. <laughs> you understand my frustration? Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry ain't going to cut it. We've been telling you, we've been searching for you for six hours. Right. Have they not been nice? Somebody could have been like, you know what, I'm going to help you find your mom. Come get in my car. Let's right. Go. You know what? Then you never see your daughter. And she doesn't even care. I swear, man. She's like, hey, um, I got a mojito in there. <laughs> it's just on the rocks. It's getting a little warm. Do you think I could like go back and like drink the rest of that oh yeah she looks like she don't give a darn you know a judge took her away from her dad and gave her to her mom for real that's what's crazy to me I, I don't live in a small don't live in small towns people do that all the time it's really not that big of a deal although if you do a populated city added the kid isn't used to the real common sense world i can see how people would be scared uh, leaving your kid in a car while you're at the bar is bad no matter how big the town is these cops don't have a do have a point how do you leave your kid behind and this dude looks like he this is his freaking intake photo <laughs> a dusty tuxin this man is uh this man is preaching this is crazy to me bro a pretty good income you can send more I agree with that. Maybe you could work harder. No, ma'am. Maybe you can work harder to be in your child's life. And I highly doubt a judge would place the child with you knowing that you travel, you're doing all of these things for growing your business, and the child is with him. Sounds like 100% of the time. No, not all the time. OK, what's, what, how often do you have the child? When he allows the child to be with me when I'm Stupid. not Stupid. Oh, okay, so when you're not traveling, that's how often? Really, a couple of days a month. Exactly, you made that up. A couple of days a month? Stupid. <laughs> I think we should change custody laws, man. I think it should be to the point where who is the parent that the child wants to be with even at an early age? They want to be with mommy, great. They want to be with daddy, great. But I think that there should be prerequisites of how you actually gain custody of the child. I hate that in Texas, it's just always the mom. There's a lot of bad moms out there. A lot of moms that do not deserve to have custody of their children, but they just automatically give it up to the mom. You know how hard men have to fight? They have to fight tooth and nail to get custody of a child in Texas. Like, your mama has to be damn near connected to a crack pipe to, for you to even get like for you to even get close to and it has to be multiple times it can't just be once like oh she did this one this one thing one time now nah, it's got to be like multiple times for you to be able to get custody it's crazy this is what we're going to do we're going to 
place you on child support based on that one hundred thousand dollars a year, ma'am. Yeah, and don't look confused. It is absurd that you believe it is okay to only send a couple of hundred dollars to dad for your child, and you actually think that it's okay for your child to be toting along with you to grow your social media influence? Yeah, no, that's not what we're going to do. Boom. Roasted. Wow. And she's just a social media influencer? Bro, I'm sorry. If you got kids, you got to make your kids the content. That's what a lot of these YouTubers are doing. Like, that's all the whole family thing and stuff like that. But, bro, this is wild to me. Greed. What is it? One of the one of the seven deadly sins. What are the seven deadly sins? Let's get into that. Um, are these seven deadly sins? Is that what they're called? Pride. Here we go. So we have pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. I think that's in the movie Seven with Brad Pitt, but greed, man. I don't know about y'all, but greed is, is one of those that when I meet people and they're greedy, I just can't stand it. What you being greedy for? Get your little greedy paws off. I hate greed. Gluttony, too. I can't stand gluttony. Big bag, big. And y'all know that, though. <laughs> now, other things. Pride, I can kind of understand that one. Lust, mmm. What is it? The um, lust of the flesh. What is it? Desire. Sloth, a lack of physical activity. Bro, do not be a sloth. This is crazy to me. The seven deadly sins. Which one is your worst, chat? My worst would probably have to be... Feeling of self-devotion, self uh, can alienate a person from God. Pride may be up there for me, or maybe even um, envy. Just because, you know, I know I say this, comparison is a thief of joy, but a lot of the things I say to you guys, I'm saying it for my own, you know, reminder to say, hey, don't compare yourself to other people, bro. Um, ain't nobody perfect. And I think the people that are the looking to be as perfect as possible are the ones that own up to their shortcomings. And I'm one of those people. I always will say, hey, you know what I did wrong? Let me do better. It's a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. It's a big thing in sales and any company that you work for, or really anything you're doing for yourself, just have a growth mindset. Have a positive outlook on what could happen. Yes, you need to know the variables that could be negative, but always think, hmm, how can I have a growth mindset in this? Oh, I had a bad day yesterday. Great. Well, that means I can have a great day today. No, no, two, no two bad days in a row. You know what I mean? A growth mindset. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that, but growth, growth versus fixed mindset really get you, really get you through a lot of stuff. But, um, Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. The love's been absolutely real. So I really do appreciate you guys just coming in every day, checking out the channel. Mad love to everybody that's a member. Become a member if you want to see old private videos. Um, I make them members only after a certain bit, um, just to keep kind of the flow of new content coming in. But cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Did you have a good time, dude? Are you not going to look at me now? Whatever, dude. I uh, hope you guys had a good time. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.